We all want to be more consistent, right? Well, this, yes, this magic yellow line is your route to becoming more consistent in the golf swing. Welcome to number two, Sunday Swings. Now in today's video, we're gonna look at how we can become more consistent. Now, there are a few elements to this, so make sure you stick around, and one of these may just be that little bit of a golden nugget that flicks the switch and the eureka moment for your game. But we need to have a look at this week's winner on the second winner of Sunday Swings. Let's have a look at winner number two, Alex and his swing. And hello to a fellow Alex. And remember, I say this every week on Sunday Swings. This applies to your game as well, and that is so important. So we can see a swing here, very dynamic, very athletic. There's one thing I really want to improve. If we just go through to impact now, you can see how these hips get jammed up. They don't quite open up as much as we want. They get jammed up, and this results in a little bit of a roll of these wrists to impact. So it's so important we get the hips opening up more into impact to become more consistent. And I think a lot of people, and it's okay if you think this, they don't realize how important the body is in a factor to becoming more consistent. This is the golden nugget moment for your game. So alignment stick is just set out here. Our main objective is, is can we post our both hips onto the wall? We're gonna imagine this is a wall from the ground upwards. I've just literally, so simple, it's crazy how simple this is. I've just placed it through my golf bag, this alignment stick. So if you're at the driving range, yes you, you're at the driving range, you can do this as well. Just pop your golf bag in front of you, place your alignment stick through, it couldn't be more simple. So addressing the golf ball now, I want you to feel you're gonna address the golf ball where it's just in line with your front hip. So your left hip for a right-handed player, your right hip or right thigh for a left-handed player. Now, what we're seeing right now is not a lot of golfers getting very open like this. You know, almost like Tommy Fleetwood. How many times, by the way, do people say, how good is Tommy Fleetwood swing? Go on, hit that thumbs up button if you think Tommy Fleetwood swing is an absolute cracker. And also, Comment down below, who's your favorite swing on tour? I think it's so important that we actually have a concept in our head that we work to. When I'm on the golf swing, I definitely think of Tommy Fleetwood. He is kind of, not my idol, but it's definitely something I think of. So what we're looking for right now, and this is our drill, can we post both hips onto the alignment stick? So it has to work in a bit of a sequence. I like to feel in the golf swing, I have 5% shift, 95% turn. Okay, so learning this, we're gonna get the first to get the golf club across our chest into golf posture. Turn it to the top, and we're gonna feel as though we get the lower half to open, we get the belt buckle to hit the alignment stick before the shoulders become level with the alignment sticks. You see that right there. I wanna feel as though my belt buckle gets there before the shoulders. I don't want to have a move where they both get there on the same time. I want to really feel the lower half hits it for the upper half marries it and that's super important that is consistency that is how we get open doing a few reps of that feeling that move with the goal club across our chest is the first point in understanding how we do this then we get into smashing the ball away so if you want to be in with a chance of winning like alex this week it is so simple you have to do three things who doesn't want a free golf lesson right and tips to improve their game so one smash and hit that big red subscribe button that's that one down there two hit that thumbs up button and the final Final thing is comment down below hashtag pick me. The best thing about this drill is you can actually hit some shots doing it. Standing in goal posture now, remember we're looking for alignment stick just to overhang our left thigh. Can we hit some shots? Feeling as though our belt buckle hits the alignment stick before our shoulders marry up and match it. Now, in an ideal world, if we've got driver, and going back to people who we like the swings of, Rory McIlroy's one for me, he's all the way around here. His right shoulder's all the way through the target. So if you're doing this drill with a driver, let's feel as though we go through that line after the hips have got there, and it'll give you a great feeling of speed, great feeling of power, and how to get more open and consistent at impact. At the end of the day, Whatever level we are, if we're an older player, a little bit of, an, of a senior golfer, still do this drill. Just do it to the best of your ability. If it improves by half a percent, that's a massive increase in the performance on your game. So into the shot now. I have a few practice swings, just feeling it, trying to get through there. Hips to hit it before the shoulders. Great feeling, standing behind the shot now. All you've got to do is pull the trigger. Let's do it. I love this drill so much. You know what, I need to do more of this. I'm uh, guilty of getting this way. 
Oh my god! I just felt like the golf ball was getting in the way of the club head. All my focus was get the bell buckle to hit the alignment stick before the shoulders match it up. Now I find that drill so useful. It's not only going to make you more consistent, but it's also going to make you have more speed, more athleticism through the golf swing. And any time we've got that, that is how we swing more like a pro. So before you leave this video, I want to show you a little bit of something with the badminton racket. And this came from a comment from the open face drill. And I'll leave the link to that video up there. Super important with the driver. Now he said, nice explanation, make me gold. Um, is the idea of getting the face in a stronger position before impact a, p a question of losing less power. Now, what, what I'm sort of feeling as a MB Gold here is saying is, if I get the club face stronger here and I turn, does this create less power than this? Well, the perception in the golf swing is that actually this would create more power, but this whole sequence of this being the main driver in the release is gonna create more speed and more power consistently. If you think of this, this, and what about bigger muscles in the body, this sequence is gonna help create more power. And by the way, creating a stronger club face at pre-impact is the way we become more consistent as well. So that's super important. I hope that answers a lot of your questions. Thanks so much for watching. That's Sunday Swings. See you tomorrow for Miracle Monday. Have a great Sunday.